Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for checking out my channel. Today I'm gonna film a day in the life because I have a super exciting day ahead of me. It's definitely gonna be one of like the coolest experiences I've ever had throughout my college experience. And so I really wanted to like document it and take you guys on the road. So basically this season, um, Compton Gymnastics had their first season ever. They've been training for a few years now and they're finally just competing um, for the first time ever. So this is their first season. The ACC championship is tonight and it's in Greensboro, North Carolina, which is about three and a half hours away from Clemson. So it's definitely gonna be a trip up there, but luckily I have someone coming with me who's also doing media there. So we're gonna drive together and it'll definitely make things easier and make the drive go by faster, hopefully. I'm in a media club here on campus where I do sports photography and a little video here and there but mostly photos and so I'm gonna be doing that tonight and the kid that I'm coming with he does sports reporting so he'll like interview athletes after the um, meets or games or whatever event he's going to um, and do like a little bit of film too so he'll video some of the events and I'll be taking pictures throughout the entire meet so it's gonna be super fun there's gonna be four teams there and um, Clemson is in like the second spot, so it's gonna be so exciting. I can't wait. Gymnastics is my favorite sport ever. I did it up until college um, for as long as I can remember, so I just love gymnastics so much. And shooting the sport is so much fun for me, so I can't wait to go tonight. I do have like a few errands to run before I leave. It's currently like 11.30 right now, so I'm gonna get my nails done um, just because this week was spring break and I had to work the entire week for my internship. And so I'm gonna try to like treat myself a little bit because I didn't get to go on a trip for spring break. So that will be my treat because I never get my nails done. Can't remember the last time I did, but I'm gonna get some dip like spring colored nails. I think that would be really fun. Then I'm gonna come home, make lunch and then hit the road at like 1.30 or two. So in a few hours, um, but I'm basically ready now. I'll probably just throw on like a Clemson hoodie over it so that I can obviously like support my team and rep the Clemson merch. But yeah, can't wait for today and so excited to bring you guys along with me. I just got back from the nail salon and I got these gorgeous little pink nails. I'm so happy with how they turned out. It's like exactly what I wanted. I just wanted like a pastel spring color. So these are so cute. They'll match everything. And I just love pink. So I'm so happy. So now that I finished up that errand, I am going to eat some lunch and I'm leaving in about an hour. So I'm getting all my like camera batteries charged and like equipment all ready to go. I'll show you guys everything that I'm bringing to to the meet tonight. But I have a few things that I wanted to like pack up, just like some snacks and stuff. And I actually have an unboxing, so I wanna show you guys what I got. Here's the package. It's from a brand that I've been working with for almost a year now, I think, which is like crazy to say that I've been working with the same brand for over a year. But it's just like a company that I really, really love and I love the products so much too. So obviously that's what like keeps me ordering from them. I ordered protein bars. They mostly have protein bars on their websites and like other protein snacks. But they recently just came out with a protein powder too, which is really good. But I don't use protein powder too, too much. So I just like prefer to order the bars. These are the two boxes that I got this month. I got espresso and chocolate mint, which mint is one of my favorites. And obviously I love coffee. So espresso is a good flavor too. But these have a 17, 16 and 17 grams of protein and three grams of sugar. So they have really, really good ingredients and they're made with um real dark chocolate too and no palm oil and they taste so good i have one of these every single day if not two so i'm definitely gonna bring probably two on my trip today one for the ride there one for the ride back because i know i'm just gonna get hungry and the meat's during dinner time too so i don't know what i'm gonna do for dinner and i don't really want to get fast food so i'm probably just gonna pack a lot but yeah, these are so good. I'm so glad to have a nice little restock. I don't think I ever said, but these are from Nugo Nutrition. I've been working with them for a while now, and I have an ambassador link too that I'm gonna leave in the description box. So if you wanna check out any of their products, you totally can, and you totally should. They're so good. They don't have that grainy protein bar taste like most protein bars do. These are by far like my favorite protein bars I've ever tried. Hence the reason why I've been ordering them for almost a year now. So definitely check them out. They have tons of different lines this is the slim line and it like specifically just has less sugar so i tend to like what are these a lot but you can really try like 
any of the ones they have on their website. I've tried them all, they're so, so good. Now it's time to make some lunch and get packing for my trip. snack lineup for the car i don't know what i'm gonna want to eat so i kind of just brought like everything i have my two nugo bars one for the ride there one for the ride back honey crisp apple my favorite um i made these protein muffins a couple days ago for the week and it's a kodiak like chocolate chip muffin so good and then olipop for a drink for the ride back on the ride there i'll probably stop for a coffee but the ride back i'll need like something to sip on while i drive um, mini saltines, such a good snack. Oh my God, they're delicious. And then these for like a sweet treat if I need something like at the end of the night. Here's my camera bag just to show you guys everything that I'm bringing. I'm shooting with a Canon today. This is one of my favorites lately. I've been loving it. It's the Canon 5D Mark IV body. Then I have a 70 to 20, 70 to 200 F 2.8 lens, which is my favorite for shooting sports. It's just good for like blurring the background and getting that sharp focus on the subject. And then I have a 24 to 70, also F 2.8. Um, which is good, but I tend to just use this one more because it zooms further in. And then I have two batteries. One's already in the camera body. And then I have two SD cards, this one and this one. And then I have both converters. This one's for my computer and this one's for my phone if I wanted to like pull up something quick. But yeah, and then I'll also bring my computer. But yeah, it's everything I pack. So let's head out. I'm officially packed up and ready to go. I have my snack bag, I have my camera bag, and then I also have my Clemson hoodie, which of course I'm gonna be wearing throughout the entire time. I'm trying to hold it up, but yes, this I'm gonna be wearing the whole time. It's just kind of warm right now, so I'm gonna drive in this tank, but we'll be wearing that for the meet and I can't wait, so let's go. Let's go. finally made it to Greensboro. We're about three minutes away from the Coliseum where the meet is taking place, but we stopped at a Burger King so that Patrick could change because he does like sports reporting. So he'll be interviewing athletes and he like wears a suit and like nice clothes for that so that he can like get it all on film and everything um, and do like professional style like interviews. So he's changing now and then we're gonna get there in a few minutes and get our credentials. Here he comes. <laughs> now it was a super fun night Clemson ended up getting second place which was really good um, we had a little bit of an off night but it was still such a cool experience and really fun to travel um, so now I just popped my Olipop open for the ride home just to keep myself awake but we're gonna get home at like 2 a.m. so I definitely need it and I'm digging into the snacks now too so that's good because we didn't really have dinner they had dinner for us but I wasn't really feeling like the food that was there it was like a buffet type Thing, but I don't know I'm a picky eater so I like my snacks but yeah getting home at like two and I'm so excited to just sleep in tomorrow morning I can't wait to go sit at a coffee shop tomorrow camp out at a table for a couple hours drink a coffee and look at the photos I'm really happy with how I shot the meat I looked at a few of the photos so far and they're turning out really good so I'm excited to go through those and start posting some of them on my media account 
And yeah, thanks so much for following along with me today. I had so much fun and definitely gonna do more vlogs like this in the future, so stay tuned. It's currently 2.35 a.m. and I'm walking back into my apartment. Thank God, holy moly, I was exhausted driving home. I'm so happy I finally made it and good night, everyone. Thank you.